Hello everyone, my name is Math Genius Zach, and today I'm going to be showcasing a set of QGIS scripts I made called Unify Tags. Unify Tags' main purpose is to unify multiple different kinds of ores or ingots into individual stackable items. It also makes an attempt to unify vanilla crafting and smelting recipes, and hide items from JEI. Here's an example of the mod working. You'll notice here in the world that I have three separate copper ores and ingots from three different mods. One from Mechanism, one from Thermal Series or Thermal Foundation, and one from Immersive Engineering. Currently, Unify Tags is not enabled, and you'll notice that these items do not stack, despite them all being copper. I can try to make them stack, but they simply act as if they're separate items, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to now use a command to enable Unify Tags. I already have it installed into my game, so I'm just loading the scripts for the first time. After the scripts finish loading, I can pick up the ingots in my inventory and convert them into copper from mechanism. I can now properly stack them up and these pesky ingots don't have to take up any extra slots in my inventory. Same thing happens with the ores. You'll notice, however, that the blocks in the world have not been unified yet. You can see from the tooltip at the top of my screen that these are still three different blocks from three different mods. Mechanism, Thermal Series, Immersive Engineering. Because it is too CPU intensive to replace these blocks in the world on the fly, I settled for a simpler solution. When I mine these blocks, they don't drop themselves. Rather, they all drop ores from Mechanism. Well, that's not entirely true. They really are dropping themselves. However, Unify Tags is replacing the item on the ground so fast that you can't see it happen. There are a few other things to keep in mind when using Unify Tags, however. First, items in chests or external storages, like these, will not be unified until they either enter your inventory or they get dropped into the world. This also includes certain machines for mods that may mine blocks from the world manually and never leave an item on the ground, like Mechanism's Digital Miner or AE2's Annihilation Plane, which... CubeJS does include a method to remove ore generation from the world, but you must know what ores you want to remove before tags are loaded into the game making it impossible to implement into Unified Tags. Still, you can make your own KubeJS scripts to remove the origin yourself. The KubeJS wiki is linked in the description. The second thing to note is that the scripts included in Unified Tags contain a few different configuration options to change how they work. Since Unified Tags relies on tags, if you know how to make your own tags through a data pack, you can even unify any set of items that you want to like, say, sandstone and red sandstone. Importantly, this is required on Fabric, which doesn't have a set of default tags like Forge does. I'll cover changing configuration in another video. Finally, the item which all other items are unified into, in this mod pack, it was the copper from Mechanism, is either from the mod with the highest priority, which again, in this case, was Mechanism, or selected randomly. Mod priorities can be changed in the script configuration. And that should about do it. If you have any issues with Unify Tags, don't hesitate to ask on my Discord, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.